Hey peeps, uh, so I've got a bundle to show you. Uh, I did do this fresh out of the box, but the video failed me, so I have to do it again. Uh, it's one, two, three, four. It's eight games, one demo for £38. Uh, there's one game I'm gonna keep, and the rest of them should make me, you know, my money, basically. So, shitty games out of the way. Formula One 97. And bear in mind, I've just been through all of these. And they're all very, very good. I mean, some of them are mint, uh, and some of them are just very, very good. You know, minty disc, clean, very, very clean disc with like the odd scratch, you know. But generally, they're all excellent, and the manuals are great. You know what I mean, they're just really good condition. So, I've done well. Um, Formula One 97, uh, not interested in that. So, that'll be going for sale. Superbike 2000, same. You know, biking games are cool and that, but it's not really of interest to me. <laughs> Demo one. Um, this one's kind of interesting because it's in a PS1 case. Uh, you know, on the pictures, I sort of assumed that someone had put a demo in a PS1 case, but it, it does seem like it actually came in it. It says autumn Christmas releases, whether that's right. For this, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to do some research on that one, but... Formula One. This I already own. It's only really in my collection because my brother had it uh, when we were kids and we played it a bit. You know, it's, it's a good game to be fair. We played it on the PC, but, um, you know, I might upgrade my disc, you know, possibly. I'll have to look into that one. Moto X or International Moto X. This one's not really of interest, although I do think it's kind of cool. Um, I, I like the artwork when they don't have the PlayStation stripe across the bottom. So yeah, that's that's that one. Now for the better games. So these three are for sale, and then I'll show you the one I'm going to keep. Destruction Derby. So I've already got this in the fat box, which is where it's at for me. Um, there could be an upgrade here in terms of the disc. But I need to double check, because I think... I'm, I'm unsure as to whether... This is quite in depth, but I'm unsure whether the discs have different codes on them, depending on which version of, of the game it is or which release. So obviously if I read the code on this and it was different to my disc, I would assume that mine is the correct disc for the Fatbox version, so I probably wouldn't swap it, but even though they probably look identical otherwise. Boring, but yeah. Um, Ridge Racer, already own it. But again, there could be an upgrade there for me with the disc, with the manual, because all of these are nice. I mean, I can't remember what my copy of Ridge Race is like. It's probably pretty good, but but a lot of these are quite minty, so there could definitely be some upgrades there. Battle Arena to Shinden, or to Shinden, however you say it. I only really know this game because it's on the PS Mini. Uh, I think it was a release title, maybe. It's definitely an early title. It's a fighting game. It's not a brilliant game, I wouldn't say. Obviously, it's very dated now, but it's not really of interest it's it's almost one of those games really that once you know from experience of collecting once i sort of get all the ps1 games i want there'll probably be these little light skirt games like this where i'll be like oh, i kind of want to grab that now but there's not really of interest so 38 pound i mean i could sell destruction derby you get a tenner for that i mean these are in very good nick as well so i might be able to get a bit more ridge racer I used to think that was worth 20, but it's kind of one of those games where it, it doesn't really hit that price point all the time, which I think is a little odd because it's a really nice big box game. So I'm going to put that in the sort of 10 to 20 mark. Battle Arena, I kind of guess in here a little bit. I did look this up the other day, but it's hard to remember. I think it's like a 10, 15 kind of game. But I'm confident to say that I'd make my money back off those three, you know, obviously with fees and that. You know, they might be slightly under, but with these games, you're easily going to make your money back. So I, I basically am quids in because I get to keep Road Rash, which was absolutely something I was after. To have it a ridge like this is nice. Very, very nice. I mean, a lot of them you see, like a hell of a lot, are like the artwork with a border around it. Obviously, that's not the version you want. So this version is sick because it just is and yeah I was just really interested in this game ever since I saw it online I think I was looking at like you know PS1 hidden gems or whatever 
It's the graphics. I love where you get a game where it's like a 3D landscape and you just have this 2D sprite. You know, your character is like two-dimensional. It just looks really odd, but I, that's why I really love it because it's kind of unique and a graphical style that was just then. It was just that very specific time where they were kind of phasing out 2D a bit and trying to get into 3D and they were kind of mixing it together a bit. Obviously, some people will copy that now because it looks old. But the authentic games from the time, you got to love it. So, yeah, gassed up, basically. Gassed up with that. It's very good condition, you know. Manual, you can see it's very clean. And the disc is, like, minty as well. It's, it's class. So, just gassed up, basically. Some of the cases are cracked. You can see there, there's a massive crack. Not all of them. Some of them are fine. And there's a couple of them are cracked. But overall, bundle-wise, brilliant. But the original description was like, uh, well, it was classed as good on eBay. And uh, it just says like, all game discs are in very good condition. Hardly any scratches or marks on them all, at all. So he's, you know, he's come good. Uh, after, I mean, I don't take that as gospel when I read that, you know, because quite often you'll hear that and you'll get the stuff and it's not, it's not that great, but, but this was good. And I think one thing that I felt good about this bundle with is on the, on the eBay list and you could see the image and you could see the manuals and when the manuals look really nice, you kind of know there's a good chance that the games are going to be in good condition because obviously they've been well looked after, but it's more likely that I feel like these have not even really been played because a lot of them don't look like they've had they don't really look like they've been handled, so. I done good, yeah. I, I was, like I said, I was really after this game, Road Rash, so just happy, really. Um, you've been stellar. Uh, comment, guys, please. You know I love you. And um, subscribes and likes. Yes, please. We love a bit of that, too. So, um, I don't really have an outro spiel, so all I'm going to say is... Guten Tag, peeps.